In the Philippines, children of nine can be charged and convicted of a criminal offence. Thousands of children are jailed inside adult prisons for the pettiest of crimes. <laughs> Tommy is 11. This is his third time in prison. His first night behind bars was at the age of eight. In the southern Philippines, political unrest and economic instability is hurting the poorest families. Children are forced to leave their homes in search of work. Many become addicted to sniffing glue or to shabu, a derivative of cocaine. Itsoi spent his 10th birthday in prison. Tommy and Itsoi are doing time in Cebu City Prison. Locals call this place the New Life Rehabilitation Centre. Many children will spend months here before they even go to trial. Others get forgotten and have to stay long after their sentence is finished. Danny is nine. He ended up in jail along with his brother Joseph and friend Ben after stealing six cans of sardines. Cebu City Prison was originally constructed to house 200 prisoners. It now contains 1,800. The jail in the city is very congested, but the greater uh, the greater problem is there is no segregation between the adults and the minors. Now these adults, some of them are charged with heinous crimes, rape, uh, robbery, murder, and with these children associating freely with these adults, you can just imagine. I've called it the University of Crime. Good morning. Esperanza Valenzona is an 84-year-old grandmother and lawyer. She offers the only hope to some of the children who end up in Cebu City Prison. 
She represents them in court for free. It's against the law to jail children with adults in the Philippines, but there are virtually no juvenile detention centres anywhere in the country. Local authorities get around the law by housing the children in separate cells. But the door to the children's cell at Cebu is left open at night. The boys are too scared to fall asleep for fear of being raped. Adult prisoners get water to wash. The children must wait for rain. But the boys in Cebu City Prison are luckier than children in other jails. Twice a week they're allowed to leave their stifling cell to attend a literacy program run by the Share a Child movement. Valenzona has been running these programs for over 20 years. What we are trying to do is to, to influence the boys so that when they come out of jail, they will be better boys. They will be able to adjust to life in the community and, if possible, to be assets instead of liabilities to the community. Esperanza Valenzona has nine children of her own. Her daughter Nina is also a lawyer and runs the Share a Child movement. The Valenzonas have helped educate over 3,000 children from the Cebu slums. To keep children out of jail is to send them to school. And also I believe that when they are in school, they are less prone to, to take drugs. Our, our concept is that since there are so many children and we cannot take care of all of them, we have to choose the brightest and the poorest. So we gauge the intelligence of the child through interviews and through his uh, report cards. But our social worker goes to their ho homes to really check on 
their source of income, the way they live, the, the house they live in, you know, that. and how much the breadwinner, if there's a breadwinner, uh, earns. Tommy grew up here on the outskirts of Cebu City. Tommy plans to return here to live with his mother when he gets out of jail. Two days before he's released, Tommy's mother and father are arguing about their son. There are now around 9,000 juveniles detained in adult prisons throughout the Philippines. Plans for a juvenile detention centre in Cebu City were approved a decade ago. But lack of funds mean the building is still not finished. Tommy's time in jail is now at an end. He's finished his four month sentence and today he's being released. Narissa, the social worker from Share a Child, is here to pick Tommy up. Okay. Mm -hmm. Oh, wow. <laughs> 
Unsagi um, ibang gusto para niya. Kami sa mga ikaw na yung sulti niya. Ang um, sulot mo na ato siya ito mga kayo. Makuha mo siya din mga matintal man. Di magyuka. Bantay yun niya kay inilay po manginabuhi ko para pakaon siya mga mangod niya. Bawa siya papa niya may trabaho. Ano man? Kaya malo siya nga malisto niya. Pati kulibutan. Kung kumukuha niya nga mga atlawa. Ginila, ginila ka lagi niya rin doa. Ano ko gamang kay? Bunogon ko, bunogon po na siya. Kamu din doon ka mo yung bunogon. Hmm, mga slayas lagi niya rin. Niya karun, yan o na mga slayas. Three months after he was released from jail, Tommy was caught stealing. He's back in prison where he's being minded by an uncle in one of the adult cells. Nagdaan pang mga araw at ang landas mo'y naligaw Ikaw ay nalulong sa masamang bisyo At ang ona mong nilapitan ang iyong inang lumuluha At ang tanong anak, ba't ka nagkaganyan? Ba't ka nagkaganyan? 